the exploration of Africa by Europeans, all they could see is that everybody had the same skin color. Mm -hmm. So when they divided up the world by races, they just say black African. And that became a bin into which they put every person they ever found in Africa. Because they saw skin color. Yeah. They weren't seeing anything else though. Other elements of genetic diversity, of genetic expression. If all you see is skin color, you'll miss things like height or intelligence or motivation, other things that could be encoded within a person, within a group. So now watch. All evidence shows that life began in Africa and later left Africa to go into Europe and cross Asia, the land bridge into North America and South America, but all began in Africa. You would expect the greatest genetic diversity of the human species to be expressed in Africa. That's what you'd expect, because uh -huh. it all began there, okay? So what do I mean by genetic diversity? Is it skin color? Because that's what everyone thinks about when they, no, forget skin color, forget it. I'm talking about other features you can measure about people. So if you have the greatest genetic diversity, where would you find the tallest person in the world? Mm. It'd be in Africa. It'd be in Africa. You got the Watusi. Mm -hmm. Where would you find the shortest person in the world? It would be in Africa. Africa. You got the pygmies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where would you find the fastest person in the world? You find him in Africa. We're getting him off the west coast of Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where would you find the fastest at long distance the, with stamina? You'd find it in Africa. It's Ethiopia. a different part of Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You get that from Kenya, Kenya which is on the uh, yeah. Yeah. east coast. Yeah. You get the uh, sprinters on the west coast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to find the slowest person in the world, it would be in Africa, but there's no contest for that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, if you wanted to find the dumbest person in the world, however you want to measure it, it'd be in Africa. So the most intelligent person. The most intelligent person in the world. Would be in Africa. Built and in fact, there is a project called the Africa Einstein Project. Mm -hmm. And they're looking for the next Einstein in Africa. Wow. Because that's where you're going to find the smartest person there ever was in the world. Mm -hmm. but, Af but historically... Europeans are not thinking that Africa is going to have smart people because that's not how they were represented ever. Yeah. Okay. There's a. This was written about. Uh, Stephen Gould wrote about this in his book, The Mismeasure of Man. There's a shelf in the British Museum that has uh, a brain in a jar. And it's the brain of a famous um, a psychologist, anthropologist, Broca. Okay. And next to it, on, or an, on another shelf, is the are the genitals of a black male African mm. in a jar. Wow. Well, that kind of says it all. You, did you save the brain right. of the African? No, you saved his genitals. They did you save the genitals of Broca? No, you saved his brain. So the, the inherent bias that shaped how this world now sees itself mm -hmm. is tragic. Yeah. But so what you need to think of, Africa has all of this diversity. It's not about skin color. It's about all the rest of what it is to be human yeah. mm. in this world. We are just seen on the surface. Because yeah. even the Mandingo tribe, so big as penises. Yeah, I didn't know. How do you, know, you, you, you research? In <laughs> <laughs> Tracy did her own research. <laughs> I know, she did her own life. contribution to but, the to but, the but anthropological but, pages. But, hot and tattoo. But I'm glad that that you. Oh, the hot and tattoo is the the woman, the, the famous the biggest booty. Yeah, the biggest, the biggest yeah. ass. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad you're saying this because this is the kind of information I think should be taught in grade school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but but it had the other side of that is the other side of that is is, you know, I'm here in the United States and we're all of mi some kind of mixture, of ge genetic mixture, and we want to say, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, I, my skin is dark, so therefore I'm African, but that doesn't do justice to how diverse Africa actually is. Yeah. My right. saying that puts it all together in one group the way the, Af the Europeans had said yeah. about Africa. So we need a more nuanced way to think about us all. Yeah. And in that nuance, then we celebrate these genetic differences knowing that we all came from the same place. That's the only message I'm trying to leave.